So that was a really good question that popped up at Speaker's Corner. And that was, how do you know what the true religion is, right? I want you guys to check out this response from Bob, who's a Christian who, uh, who's always at Speaker's Corner and debating with a lot of Muslims and different people from different religions. But I, I found his answer to be quite interesting. Check it out. How do you know which, since there's so many religions, how do you know which one is true? The resurrection is true. Every other religion that disagrees with the resurrection is false. If the resurrection occurred, Muhammad is a false prophet. Buddha is a false teacher. Krishna is a false god. Karl Marx is wrong. Nietzsche is wrong. How does he know which one to go up? You've got to look at the evidence. Do you judge each religion according to its own claims? And you judge each religion according to the claims of other religions that resurrection of Christ has stood up against 2,000 years of Christianity criticism attempts to disprove it and they have all failed. Islam has only been tested by counterclaims in the last hundred years because only in the West Islam doesn't have the political dominance to suppress debate Ooh. like it does across the Muslim world. It's only in the age of the internet that Islam has been subject to the level of criticism that it now is. And Islam is floundering. All the Dawagandists in this park run from the Christian intellectuals in this park because we've shown that Islam is busted. Oh my goodness. Isn't that funny? Because I just said one of my episodes, the internet is destroying Islam. Because you're able to look at the origin of things. And when you're able to look at the origin of things, you realize that Muhammad came out of nowhere. There's no books, there's no prophet, there's nobody talking about his coming. Nowhere. But all through the Torah... You hear about the coming of Jesus. All, all through the Holy Scriptures, you hear about the coming of Jesus. Even in different books, they talked about a Messiah coming. Then he came. And in our Bible, Galatians 1.8, it says, even if an angel comes to you and teaches you a different doctrine, let that angel be cursed. Even in our Bible, in Corinthians, it says, the Satan masquerades around like an angel of light. What came almost 500 to 600 years after Christ? Muhammad, saying he talked to an angel. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> you want us to believe that? And it's spread by the sword. So they were making people believe this. Forcing them. Unlike Christians and the faith of Yeshua, where they were spreading the message, and people who didn't want to hear the message, they, dust, they dusted off their they, they feet. Kept it pushing. You know how many people joined the faith in believing in Christ because of martyrs? The first couple hundred years at a church when people were getting torn, torn apart by lions, they were getting stretched out by horses, they were getting set on fire for different parties. You know how many people were joined because they seen the faith? Every apostle was brutally murdered, except John, for Christ. At that point, you have to think to yourself, okay, something, something's real here. They must have seen something for real. Listen to me. Almost every testimony you see on YouTube about people dying and coming back to life, what do they talk about? Christ. Christ. A lot of times when it comes to different religions and they convert to being Christian, a lot of times they see a vision or have a dream or have a physical visitation from Jesus. At that point, you have to ask yourself, even if you are in another religion, something's going on here. You don't have testimonies online by thousands of people saying that Buddha came to them and said, follow me. In a dream or a visitation or saying that Muhammad came to them or Allah of the Quran. Listen, listen. For all you Christian people who say they're Christians and say respect of the religions. People who are completely lost in their faith, doesn't know, don't know what they're talking about. Allah, the Quran, is not Yahweh of the Bible. Two different people. Two different persons. So, you never have people with testimonies and dreams saying that that God came to them saying, follow me. Or the Hindu gods. Oh boy, boy, boy. You don't see it. You don't see that. But you can look on YouTube right now and see thousands of testimonies of Muslims crying, breaking down, saying how Jesus came to them. Hindus breaking down, saying how Jesus came to them. Buddhists breaking down, saying how Jesus came to them. 
and a vision and a visitation and a dream. Atheists breaking down thousands and thousands and thousands. At some point, even if you are in a different religion, you have to think to yourself, something is going on here. What am I believing in? And am I only believing in it because I grew up in it? Am I only believing in it because I looked at it and it made sense to me? God's ways are not our ways, it says in the, the word of God. God's ways are not our ways, it says in the word of God. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Because you can add it up in your human being mathematical mind. And it makes logical sense to you. Is why you joined the cult. Boy, oh boy. That's exactly what religions, religions are. They're just demonic. A lot of them perverted. Different cults. Come on. True freedom lies in Christ. True freedom lies in Yeshua. There is no other key to your bondage and spiritual prison. There is no other key. It doesn't matter how many times you pray to a false God. It, is not, it doesn't matter how many times you think that you are being intimate with a false God. You're doing nothing more than pulling on the coattail of a demon. So many different people out here. Millions of people have been robbed out of their inheritance. Have been robbed out of their birthright to come into the kingdom of God through Christ. You've been robbed. You're meant to be a child of God in the kingdom of God. Stepping into your inheritance. What God wants to give you. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. What God has in store for those who love him. Who loves him? Well, Yeshua said, those who love me obey my commandments. So those who obey God's commandments love him. And if you don't obey his commandments, you're just talking. You talk a good talk. That's why the Lord said, you honor me with your lips, but your hearts are far from me. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their hearts are far from the commandments. You just talk a good talk. You just talk a good fight. But are you really there? Are you really intimate with the Lord? Are you really in the personal space with the Lord? Historical facts that Yeshua was crucified, even by people who weren't even Christians. Talk about the crucifixion of Jesus. You got people out here who will try to convince you otherwise. <laughs> boy, oh boy. May you come out of the, the deception. May you come out of the wickedness that the enemy has tried to pull you in and step into the truth, which is Christ. All glory to the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. God bless. Shalom.